Hello and welcome to Only Connect, a quiz so clever and so grown up that if it went to watch a ballet, it would stay awake. It's tough but it's friendly, so don't be scared. Come closer and relax. A little closer. 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 Now you're too close, you're freaking me out. Let's meet the teams. On my right, it's the fantasy writers. Jeff Ryman, a native Canadian and science fiction novelist who teaches creative writing at Manchester University. Liz Williams, also a science fiction novelist and a practicing witch with a PhD in philosophy. And their captain, Paul Cornell, a freelance writer who's written scripts for Doctor Who, Primeval and Robin Hood. Together they are the fantasy writers. Paul, what do you look for in fantasy writing? How do you judge it? Um, I, I'd say um, some relationship to the here and now. It's always about what's going on right now. And um, as is the best work by these two wonderful authors beside me. And you've written for Doctor Who. Is, is that fantasy? I, I would say it has a strange relationship with fantasy and science fiction. It's a bit of both and a bit of other stuff too. Do you know, I've never seen an episode. You're the one. I don't know why I'm saying that so proudly. It's exactly the kind of thing that quizzers would despise me <laughs> for. I'm sorry, I haven't. I'll catch up when I get home. Your opponents are the bridge players. Chris Cooper, a civil servant and mathematical modeler with a PhD in theoretical chemistry. Tim Dickinson, a computer programmer with a degree in maths. And their captain, Nick Smith, an Oxford English graduate who now runs a home learning organisation. United by their love of a challenging card game, they are the bridge players. Nick, what is it about bridge that attracts you three? Well, bridge is uh, perhaps the most um, intellectually challenging of card games, uh, but it combines individual and personal skills with an element of, of teamwork. So I think it's the, the queen of card games. I think it is, is to all other card games what, um, uh, what chess is to um, uh, noughts and crosses. Is there a bridge partnership among the three of you? Well, I, I play quite a bit with uh, Tim and occasionally with Chris, but he's a little difficult to, uh, to manage, so uh, I'll stick with Tim. Have you ever had an argument with Tim over the bridge table? Yes, we very nearly come to blows on several occasions. Well, is there going to be teamwork tonight? Let's find out by playing the quiz. In round one, I simply ask the teams what connects four apparently random clues. The fewer clues you need to see before giving me the answer, the more points I'll give you. But of course, if you run out of time or give me an incorrect answer, I'll throw it over to the other team for a possible bonus. Fantasy writers, you won the toss. You'll be going first. If you've seen the show on TV, you might expect to choose from some Greek letters here. But no, our viewers found them elitist, so we've simplified things. I'll now invite you to choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Um, I think I'll go for the horned viper, please. Kicking off with the horned viper. Your first clue is coming up, and your time starts now. Arthur, isn't Arthur. it? Arthur, the King of the Britons. King, right, so, second, next, please. That's, well, that's, um, Dundas. Um, Dundas, um, where's, where's the, wait a minute, Arthur, Dundas. Arthur, yeah. Uh, okay, next, please. Arthur. Hot Poison Nemesis with Bluto. 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 Um, Arthur. Bluto. We'll go, shall we go for four? Yeah. I think we're going to have a go. Next, please. Got Brutus. five. Brutus. 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 Oh. Okay, yes, they were all Brutus. That is correct for one point. Can you talk me through the clues a little? Well, um, Liz, you Yeah, know. mythological first king of Britain wasn't Arthur. It was Brutus, actually, of Troy, I think. Um, Jean's on... I don't know. I, I thought it was David Dundas, but apparently it was a Brutus. Mm -hmm. uh, Popeye's nemesis was once Bluto and then became Brutus and obviously the assassin of Julius Caesar. Et tu, Brute. Yes, the jeans on jingle advertised the Brutus Clothing Company. Oh. Uh -huh. And uh, according to Geoffrey of Monmouth, it's uh, Brutus yeah. is the mythological king. And uh, Popeye's nemesis, he is more commonly known as Bluto, but he does go by the other name sometimes, mm. Brutus. So well done, you found the connection. Bridge players, your turn to pick a hieroglyph. We'll try Twisted Flax, please. Twisted Flax, your first clue is coming up now. Cut Next. Could be red. No, it could be red. Blue ball and croquet. Um, you red. hit it with a red ball. Um, you, 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 you hit it with a white ball. ball. Um, do you want to take another? Next, Next please. Let me go first. Maybe the blue ball goes first. Uh, I'll be scarlet. Maybe the yeah, blue ball goes first. They all, blue ball you, you're right, they all go, go first. first. Yeah. They all go first. 
Coming in after just three clues, you get two points. They all go first. The fourth clue would have been left of the dealer button, which in a game of poker okay. would be first to act. Very well done. Back to the fantasy writers to pick a hieroglyph. Um, let's go for the Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. Your first clue is coming up now. Philip II of Spain. It was king. King? King, king. 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 Um, Next, please. Sam Bonavar was king of a country that he was not from. No, yes. Shall we go, go for it? it? Yeah, go for it. Go ahead. Leader at least. We think these people have all been kings of countries that they were not themselves from. Now, I like your ambition coming in after just two clues. Of course, the danger with that is that when I show the next ah. two clues, you'll see it doesn't apply. I must bring up those next clues to show to your opponents, the bridge players, who have a chance of scoring a bonus they point. Founded countries. Yeah. They founded, um, founded America. Founded names. They founded um, the country. In, 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 in America, South America. I'm afraid I can't accept that. They did not found the country. You're closer, though. They all had countries named after them. Yes. Philip II of Spain, the Philippines, Bolivia, of course, Simon Bolivar, Colombia after Christopher Columbus, and Juan de Bermudez. So no points there, but bridge players, you can now choose your own question. Two reeds, please. Two reeds. Ah, that is going to be the sound or music question. You'll be hearing the clues. First one coming up now. Jump next. I don't recognise it at all. Next. Um, oh, I should be should we get this. Um, I think I've played it. Um, oh, no, I, no I think go for the next one. Next. Um, this is um, uh, Manic Street Preachers. It's um, yes. Um, um, it, uh, Australia. Ten seconds. They all oh, named yeah, after. Like... Sorry, it's Australia. They all named after countries or something. Oh, next one, next. Um, Three oh, seconds. Um, they're all linked by o Australia. That is not the answer I'm looking for, so there is a possible bonus for the fantasy writers. I'll just play you a snatch of the last clue. There's one thing that I'm certain of. Return. I will to all. Coming back from exile? I'm afraid you can't debate any answer. Are they all about individual countries? Yes, they are about countries. You had that bridge players, but it just slipped through your fingers. Australia was the third one, Brazil in the okay. last one, and the earlier songs you heard were Van Halen's Panama, and the one you thought you knew, Sibelius's Finlandia. Oh, countries is the link, so you get a bonus point and the chance to pick your own question. Um, let's go for Lion, please. Okay, these are going to be picture clues. It's the picture question. First one coming up now. To Fennig. Next, please. Man that's, of a that's, that's Norman Bates in the shower scene in that's Psycho. Right, right. So Fennig, um, what's his mother called? His mother is called anybody? No. Go on. No, not Norman. Um, shower scene in Psycho. Begins with M. Fennig, I think. Psycho. Okay, let's go for the next. Pterodactyl. 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 Is this? It, they're all peas. It's like the peas. Psycho. Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. Fennig. Start. Ten seconds. Yes. Yeah. PT, PF, PS, PT. Five seconds. These are all words that begin with P without pronouncing the P. They Fennig. are words that begin with a silent P. Fennig, psycho, pterodactyl. Wow. And the last clue would have been a pneumatic drill. Well done. Over to the bridge players. It's not much of a choice. I think it's going to be water. Water, please. Happy with that? Your first clue coming up now. Okay. Um, of some sort to try take the next. Um, the wing, the, the, the wind, the horse of wind. Ah, uh, the horse of the helm of Perseus was the helm that make make him invincible. Uh, um, could be maybe. John, next. Let's see if we can make, make him invisible, sure. Invisible, do you think? Uh, I'll jump to another clue. Um, I think I might need another clue. Let's see if we can see if he's cloaked. Invisible, jump to another clue. I think invisible. Next, please. Yes, yes, definitely. Invisibility. That is the link, invisibility, and you get the point. What are the various clues? Well, the Aston Martin and Down the other day was, yeah. was invisible. It could, it could be made invisible. Yes. Um, I think the helmet of Perseus made him invisible uh, to the Gorgons, maybe. Um, what so about that first one? Do you know what the first one is? 
uh, some kind of um, aspirin or something like that, but I can't see how that makes you invisible. Monocane is the substance taken by the invisible man. In the film, I think not in the book, the H.G. Wells story, but uh, that's what he uses to become invisible. Well done. So, looking at the scores at the end of round one, the bridge players have got three points, but the fantasy writers are just ahead with four points. <laughs> round two has a similar principle, but it's a little more complicated. There are still four connected clues. This time they come in a sequence. The teams may see a maximum of only three clues, because what I want to know is what comes fourth. Fantasy writers, you will be going first again. Please pick a hieroglyph. Let's go for um, the twisted flax this time, please. OK, the first of four clues is going to be revealed. I would like to know what comes fourth. Time starts now. Next, please. Shelled. We don't know what the first thing is, do we? No, no. A senior is, that's from um, Sri Lanka. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Let's okay. go for the third. Uh, these are, this oh, is an order. Hindu tradition. Um, oh, the number of horns. It's the one yeah. horn. It's a unicorn. No, no, Four no, horns, no, three, three horns. horns. So, get the next clue. Next, next. Oh, oh yeah. Two horns. Oh, yeah. One horn. It's a unicorn or something with one horn. Ah, this time you could have got it after two clues. You are absolutely right. Things with horns chousing a four-horned antelope. Oh. Oh. Up three horns, bull, and a unicorn would have one horn. So, very well done. You get the points. Back to the bridge players to pick a question. Lion, please. Lion, first in a sequence coming up. Time starts now. Um, frequency. Yeah, yeah do you want to take Next. So it's going to be going down in frequency. So we've got very high frequency at some point. Ultra high frequency, maybe. Um, do you want to take the next one? I, I... Next. UHF, maybe I think it must be VHF, isn't it? Ultra high. Ultra high. VHF? I think so. I think that's what I want to go for. I think so. Plenty of time. Yeah, well, I haven't got anything else. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder what we have to go for. VHF. For what reason? They are either getting more frequent or less frequent. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is VHF. They are the four bands of radio waves with the shortest wavelength and getting longer as we go through. OK, fantasy writers, up to you to choose. Let's try water this time, please. Wine. First in a sequence coming up, what is fourth? Time starts now. April. Name or month. Go on. Next, please. June. Name or month. Oh, we can't be can it. I don't think it's going to be that strong. Next, please. <laughs> there were the seasons change, aren't they? No, they the change of seasons. Oh, it's March. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. June and September, they change. Are they... They're not when they, um, they're not they're not the... They're not even when the clocks go forward. No, that's oh, only wait, twice a year. Eight, no, it's in March. Ten seconds. Is it simply the gap between them? May, June, July, August, September, No, no, there's two months between June and... Three seconds. Oh, January. January. We'll take a punt at January. For what reason? Because simply a mathematical progression. Um, one month between the first two, two months between the second two. I'm afraid that is not the answer, so I'm going to go over to your opponents, the bridge players, for a possible bonus. We think it's simply 30 days, half November as well. The answer is November. They are the months with 30 days in them, but not coming in the order you'd expect from the old rhyme. Chronological order throughout the year. Bonus point to you, bridge players. Well done. Please pick your own question. Horned Viper, please. The Horned Viper. Here it comes. First in a sequence coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. 2850, so it could be some sort of metric unit. So hands and something. Mm -hmm. Do you want, to, do you want another one? Or? Next, please. So, um, so it's something going. No, it's not an X. I'm the next one. Oh. Next. Hands in a stone. Um, Sixteen ounces in a pea. Yes, that's, that's right. Sixteen O in a P. Sixteen O in a P. That's the right answer. Why is it the right answer? Well, it's the imperial weights um, getting smaller. That's it. What do you think the first two are? Um, 20 hundredweight in a tonne, 8 stone in a hundredweight, 14 pounds in a stone. That's it. It's the Avoir du Poids Imperial weighing system, 16 O in a P, ounces in a pound. Very good. 
fantasy writers, which would you like? Um, we'll go for the two reads, please. The two reads. These are going to be picture clues. I want to know what you'd expect to find in the last picture, starting now. It's a baby next. Oh, with the letter M. Mm -hmm. Baby M. M. Ne next. Next, please. Christening tea. Baptism tea. Baptism tea. A maternity... Oh, is it is it member of maternity? Maternity. Baptism. Sorry. Not ringing any bells. Not ringing. Um, next, please. Wed Wedding. Wedding. Okay. M maternity. W. Oh, oh. Born on a Monday. Christened on Tuesday. Tuesday. Married on Wednesday. Um. Died. No. I'm afraid that's too much hesitation. I'm going to have to throw it over Sorry. to the bridge players for a possible bonus. We think it's ill on Thursday. Took ill with a T in a corner. It is the old rhyme about Solomon Grundy. Born on a Monday, christened on a Tuesday, married on a Wednesday. Took ill on a Thursday. So close, but just missed out at the end there. That's a bonus for you, bridge players, and only one question remaining for you. The all-seeing eye of Horus. First in a sequence coming up. Time starts now. Population that could be um, and fourth quarter war number, number of islands or something on the next one. Next. It's population, surely. It's India. Right. Uh, uh, United States has got 50 states. Indonesia has got how many other number of states? Um, do you want the second one? Because if it's, if it's India, it's definitely China as well. Maybe. Yeah, yeah take it now. Third population. I'll take the third clue, yeah. Third. The next, please. Yeah, so it's China. Population, China. surely. China. First. First. First, China. First equals China is the right answer. Why is that? We think it's to do with the, uh, the population that has the largest population. This population sizes and the largest is China. Well done. So, at the end of round two, the fantasy writers are now on six points, but the bridge players are ahead with 11. three is our connecting wall. This time there are 16 jumbled up clues which need to be sorted back into four connected groups of four. Bridge players, it's going to be your turn to go first this time and you've got a choice of lion or water. Lion, please. Lion, okay. I will give you a point for each group you find, a point for each connection, and bonus points if you get them all right. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. Um. Morris Dancer, Dancer. Jester, uh, these are characters in some a couple of um, comedians, uh, um, Stephen Hasgott, Stephen Fry, yes. uh, Stephen, uh, uh, Stephen Edmonds, no, uh, 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 martial art done here, um, Swiss Cows, oh. Swiss Cows are pri uh, presented a federal, Dark Arts, martial Travis arts, Bickle, yes. um, Rose Arts maybe, martial arts, Fine Arts, Yes. Um, um, Jokers. Um, Jokers. Which wide? Got to do it. Jester, Jester. Talking head. A sleigh. Sleigh ride. Um, cutaway Cut scene. Um, Housecoat. What's the first name of Housecoat? Moist Dunce got bell. Sleigh got bell. Yes. Noddy got a bell. And Swiss a cow. Swiss got a bell. cow. And a Jester as well. So there's the. Not cutaway. Uh, not cutaway, no. Swiss cow. Swiss maybe cow. Noddy. Noddy. And maybe Jester, that's Jester, the other one. Jester, got, got, got a bell. Um, maybe not Swiss Cow. Uh, what, what else have we got? Fred, how do you go, isn't it? And it's Deep uh, Bickle. You've done, you've done, do, do them again. Do, 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 do them again. So I think it's Fred, how's it go? Fred, um... You've got Bickle. a minute left. Um, no. Do you just do the combinations of these? Yeah, I don't know. Um, Travis Bickle. Yeah. Uh, Travis Bickle. Um, yeah, now with two groups, it's three strikes and you're out. Okay, so CB Fry, um, um, Noel Edmonds, Stir Fry, Noel Stir Fry. Edmonds. Fry. Um, Bickle. Noddy, what Noddy got to do it? Uh, Noddy, talking head. You've got 30 Noddy, seconds. Noddy Holder. Uh, White boy. Wow. You've 
you've solved the grid. Well done. Okay, that's four points for the groups. I will now give you bonus points for the connections. Group one, dark, fine, bow, martial. Orange. You can put arts after all of them. Simple as that. Next group, jester, morris dancer, sleigh, Swiss cow. They're all associated with bells. They all have bells on them. That's it. Next one, cutaway, noddy, wide, talking head. Pop groups, maybe. Pop, pop groups. No. Pop Can't shot. let you debate they, it. Filming terms in TV. They are camera shots in TV. I don't know where that came from. Very well done. You get the point. And the last one, Edmunds, Bickle, House Go, Fry. Comedian, maybe. Is it, um, no, I'll um, give it too long. Um, is it Norman? No, Norman. you don't know that one. This is, this is a good one, but it's, uh, it's tricky to spot. Travis Bickle, the character from Taxi Driver. Fred Housego, Fred his name is, the taxi driver taxi who drivers. won Mastermind. Noel Edmonds and Stephen Fry both yeah. drive taxis in their spare time. Taxi drivers was the link there. But you got four points for finding the groups and three points for the connections. That's a total of seven. Let's bring back their opponents, the fantasy writers, see how they get on with their connecting wall. It'll be 16 fresh clues, still need sorting into four groups of four. You've got two and a half minutes to meet this challenge. The clues are going to come up now. Right, um, wire, Waterloo, Liz, let's have a look. Uh, battles, Get Waterloo, Bang, Balaclava, Yabba, Hastings, things. Gettysburg. 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 It's not, okay. it's not a one. No one. Okay. Um, Lafayette. That's it. Lafayette. Yeah. Civil War battles. Is it Lafayette, Gettysburg? Um, can anybody see anything else? No. Okay, let's get rid of that. Oh, okay. um, Hastings. Wall. Dog. Ernst. Type of helmet, type of chair. Sedan chair. Um, okay. Um, Pop songs, Waterloo. Uh, no, Waterloo. I see. We need to clear those other ones. Mm -hmm. Walls, um, sedan, dogs, country. Top country of the class is interesting, isn't it? Um, Wall, sedan, dog. Pink like Floyd pink. songs. Pink Floyd songs, like the Wall. Uh, can't see any others. War, general, Ernst, general. Nothing, no. Dogs, sedan. This is the folks. Ernst is interesting. Yeah. Is is, a, is an artist. Um, Ernst Clifford Miller. Okay. Miller is a. Ernst Clifford Miller. Ernst. Uh, no. Working. There you go. Um, um, should we try Lafayette? Let's try Lafayette. Okay. Okay. We've got a minute left. Okay. okay. Not working either. Stop pushing. Right, um, 42nd 40 40 Street, seconds. Wall Street. Yes, Wall Street. Uh, Canal Street. Canal Street. Miller Street, Waterloo. Um, Sedan. Wall. Dog. Sedan. Ernst. Wall Street. But, but, but. No, it's not. Country Street, Clifford Street, Marsh Street, Bullock. Um, what? Shall we try Waterloo? Try Waterloo. You've got 30 yeah. seconds. Try Wire, Clanow. Clifford, Lafayette, Lafayette Street. Oh, we've lost them all. No, no. It is, it is definitely 42nd War and Canal. But anyway, there we are. We are on. Okay. Um, Gettysburg, Sudan, um, Balaclava. Ten seconds. Hastings, dogs. No, no. We'll do better battles again. Um, Gettysburg, Waterloo. Oh, oh, oh. Hastings. Hastings. You're out of time. Okay. But you got one group, and of course a bonus point if you can tell me the connection there. Wall, 42nd Lafayette Canal. There are streets in New York City. There are streets in New York, okay. And there are more bonus points available if you can tell me the connections in the other groups. So let's resolve the wall. The second group, Ernst, Hastings, Clifford, Miller. They're all Maxes. That's it. Max Ernst, the artist Hastings, who knew him, Clifford, the, the Max, PR man, Clifford, Max Miller, the comedian. You yeah. struggle with Max Hastings, the British journalist, mm -hmm. former editor of the Daily Telegraph. Lovely Max Hastings. Next category, dogs, country, wire, top of the class. Are they all HBO drama series of some kind? 
I, they're shop. not, but it's a great idea. Mm -hmm. They're not. This is actually a, a verbal one. They're often hard to spot. They're things you can go to. Oh, go to the, the dogs, dogs, go to the country, go, go to the wire, go to, go to the double glass. <laughs> Last category, sure Sedan, Gettysburg, Balaclava, Waterloo. These are all battles. Again, do you want to be any more specific? Um, they are... 19th century battles? No. They are all 19th century battles. Very good. Mm -hmm. So, one point for the group that you found. Three points for the connections you've given me. That's a total of four points. Let's see how that leaves the scores going into round four. The fantasy writers are up to ten points, but the bridge players are ahead with 18 points. And if you'd like to try a connecting wall, go to our website on the screen now. Round four is the missing vowels round. We simply remove vowels from well-known phrases or sayings. Teams, I want you to tell me what the phrases or sayings are. I'll tell you the connections in advance. So, fingers on buzzers. The first category are all invertebrates. Writers? Centipedes. I'm afraid not. You're missing a couple of consonants. Possible bonus bridge players? Octopus. That's it for one point. Next clue. Players? Blue bottle. One point. Players? Too long, I'm afraid you lose a point. Possible bonus writers. No, it's sea an enemy. Next clue. Don't know this one, players. Soft sh shell clam. Yes, it is. One point. Next category, things that can be capped. Writers. Oh, well, well. One point. Players. Bandwidth. One point. Players. English cricketer. One point. Players. Council tax. Yes, one point. Next category. Fiction set in Australia. Don't know this one. It's the novel Oscar and Lucinda. Next clue. No. Bruce Chat wins the song lines. Next clue. Writers. Picnic at Hanging Rock. There you go. One point. A little more obscure. That is Tim Winton's Cloud Street. Next category, weather phenomena. Time is up. That first clue was heat wave. So that is the end of the quiz. And looking at the scores, the fantasy writers have got 11 points, but the winners with 23 points are the bridge players. Sorry to lose you there, fantasy writers. Thank you for coming. Well done, bridge players. You are through to the quarterfinals. We'll see you again there. Please join us next time for more fearsome questions and contestants so clever they text in Latin. It's just quicker. Goodbye.